the Honorable Leader of the New Democratic Party. In a, a lesser noted part of our uh, exchange about minimum wage yesterday, the Premier said that about half the minimum wage workers in the province have a post-secondary education and we should be getting them better jobs. Now, the tuition cost for a four-year undergraduate degree in our province is around $32,000, and that's not a price that all young people and their families can afford to pay. Mr. Speaker, does the Premier think that those who don't have financial access to a post-secondary education only deserve to make $12.95? The Honourable Premier. Actually, Mr. Speaker, I believe what I said was, uh, and the, the member has a number of 40,000, there's a different number, but it doesn't really matter. I, I believe what I said was, my understanding is roughly half of those people have a post-secondary education, and many of them would like jobs in the, uh, to pursue careers and jobs in, in their area of study, and they can't. Uh, and I wish they could, and we'll work hard as, as a province to make sure that there are more opportunities uh, for every Nova Scotian. And uh, I'm totally committed to doing that, and that's what my focus will be. And I apologize for, for the carelessness of my words, and, and uh, I own those words, uh, but uh, I hope Nova Scotians know that I'm sincere in my respect for each and every single Nova Scotian. The Honourable Leader of the New Democratic Party and his first supplementary. Well, I, th I think this uh, uh, desire to, to be clear with words, this is clearly honourable. Um, and yet, in, in, the, um, in the words of the Premier's apology given yesterday, um, I think uh, he continued to speak to a similar troubling uh, approach. He said, I... I uh, I, I was speaking, I meant to say this, I, this is what I heard him say, uh, uh, people want a, a better job, uh, they, they want a career, uh, uh, and, and yet, uh, Mr. Speaker, there are many people who are working in careers. I'm talking about early childhood education, surely early childhood education is a career. There are many people working as CCA, surely, continuing care assistance, that's a career, Question, who please. are working for less than $15. Question. Does the Premier not think that those who are working in the careers of ECEs and CCAs and parallel type careers, that they are entitled to a minimum of $15? The Honourable Premier. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And look, we're, uh, I accept that my words can be dissected, and I own words, and when I'm careless with them, I need to be held to account for that, and I, I respect the members uh, holding me to account on, on my choice of words. What I would say to the members, I, I believe there are many Nova Scotians uh, that wish they had a better paying job. Uh, and I think we're probably in agreement on that. I hope we are at least. And for those Nova Scotians that are looking for a better paying job, I will continue to fight for them to make sure that there are more better paying jobs in this province. I'm committed to doing that, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Leader of the New Democratic Party on his final supplementary. Uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, we accept that the Premier fittingly and, and rightly has uh, apologized uh, for what he said, but an apology without action doesn't really amount to much. And so I, I want to ask the Premier if he will uh, take advantage of this important moment as we're focusing on this subject to take action now and increase the wages of the 40,000 real people working their real minimum wage jobs in Nova Scotia. The Honourable Premier. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Speaker. And obviously, uh, we all want better paying jobs for every, for every Nova Scotian. We want Nova Scotians to, those Nova Scotians that go to work every, thing, every single day, they have a right to expect that they, they earn enough to afford shelter and food and, 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 and what they need to survive in this province. We absolutely agree on that. Um, um, uh, but what I, what I would say is we're taking action. Uh, members will be well aware of the rental cap. Uh, to protect Nova Scotians. We're taking, we're taking action in, in every area that we can, Mr. Speaker, and I just want Nova Scotians to know. I'll say it one more time. I'll probably get a few more times to, to I'll probably get the opportunity again today, and that's, that's good because uh, I'm very sincere. Uh, the carelessness of my words uh, caused harm, and I apologize for that.